Raise your hand if you thought I was never moving. This is gonna be perfect. This is a whole different level. And I think it's time for us to go. I would have had someone filming us trying to get into this dog park. I'm trying not to cry. I told you guys we were going off of vibes. We are really going off of vibes. This is the ridiculousness. Like, where were these naps yesterday? We have a long effing drive ahead. Here's the thing, I didn't think I was never moving. It's just plans kept changing and like things kept coming up and if I could share the whole story with you guys and like the logistics of how this has just really been played month by month and we had totally different plans. And honestly, it's done. It's here. We're finally freaking moving. And I'm really in denial because it happened like very, very fast. It was just like up and things like we, we got the place and like movers are coming the very next day and like movers are literally coming tomorrow morning and I don't know, it all happened so quickly and now I'm like, whole, what, what do I need to do? Like, what do I need to pack? What do I need to prepare? What, I don't know. And I almost feel just like stunted by the overwhelming thought of like, holy shit, this happened so fast. And now I'm like, I, I just don't even know what to do. So I'm just like stuck. So I got the thought that I should at least start moving things, organizing things. What do I actually need to bring with us? And I don't think it's a lot. Like that that was the point was to send almost everything with the movers and it's just like we just have necessities. So I need to bring his clothes, the diapers and stuff that I already have purchased, his formula stuff. Like I've got a whole box of formula that was just delivered, his water warmer. I'm gonna bring his like booster seat situation. My tripods and things, like my computer, but I'm like, I really like, I don't, and it's also, it's not like I'm not coming back here. Like it's, and, and that's what I think is like the weirdest part is like, I'm like, holy shit, I'm moving. Like I need to clean this whole entire place. I need to, which that's the thing is like, I need to empty out the fridge and do all that. But otherwise I'm like, I'm, I could literally come back here in two weeks if I wanted to. I'm not gonna come back here in two weeks. That's not necessary, but. This is actually happening, holy shit. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start just stacking things up here. What the F needs to come with us? First off, this guy, which we need. Cool. This, like it's just so large. Like I wish I didn't just have this delivered, but it is what it is. We needed it. so mom could get more done. All I did was fold laundry. Yeah, and I put your clothes in the suitcase. But now that you're up, I can put my clothes, I can't even talk. I can put my clothes in the suitcase too, huh? You're not even paying attention to me, you're just staring at the I'm talking to you. Yeah, my camera's more interesting, I get it. By the way, if you're wondering why my outfit is so fire right now, I was wearing a bodysuit and then I took it off because I operate out of a bra most of the day. Um, and then I obviously needed to put a shirt on to film and this shirt was on the counter from the other night. So this is my hot look. What's your look? You wanna show everybody? I just have this on. Yeah. Very cute, huh? See, I'm just in my pajamas.
doing all this packing while being solo with a baby is not easy and i know i said the exact same thing when packing for new york like this is a whole different level yesterday i was able to put like two things in my car and then he needed me and then i was like oh i'm gonna get him down for bed and then i'm gonna pack the rest of the car and then this morning we can just get up and go that was the plan he had other plans and i had to say you know what he's my top priority like we'll leave when we can leave but making sure that he is okay is like my main concern so i didn't end up finishing everything last night obviously because now here i am oh i should probably fill or fill these up let's put this over here i think that's what we're saying just doesn't even matter doesn't it doesn't even matter but then i was like okay since i couldn't do everything last night i thought if he woke up early this morning wanting a bottle and then would go back to sleep, I was like, I'll finish everything then and then we'll hit the road. He didn't wake up early. So both of us slept in until 7.30, which was so incredibly nice. Like, I'm so glad that happened, but it's not what I was expecting. And now it's already almost nine o'clock and we have a long effing drive ahead. And I don't know how much we're gonna be able to accomplish today, but we can do it. Okay, let me fill these with water. We got the baby breast off, we got the bottles, we got the go bag, we got your harness collars, got the mattress, sound machine, pajamas, I've unplugged everything. Okay. I am hot, but I have everything that's on my list. It's so weird to be like moving, like leaving, but knowing I'm gonna come back. Cause even the state that I left the house, like I really wanted to leave it in like really, really good condition. Everything cleaned, everything put in the spot. And that just absolutely was not possible. That was not happening. So I think I have everything. I think I've done everything I need to do. I'm trying not to cry. And I think it's time for us to go. This is so weird, you guys. This is so weird. Come on, girls. I know this is a big jump. Come on. Good job, Lovey. Can you do this? I can lift you up there. Do you want me to lift you? Oh. Happy back up. Let your sister sit. Okay. really thought he would nap for an hour. That was the goal. So as soon as we got on the highway, he fell asleep. I was like, sweet, this is gonna be great. And this is gonna be perfect timing to line up with like when he needs a bottle next, like he'll wake up and he'll need a bottle. So I was like, we'll plan our stop around 11-ish. He slept 20 minutes. <laughs> and I think what ended up happening because I caught him at the end is like he was just like a little restless and like trying to put himself back down and he saw Poppy because Poppy was just sitting right there and then his eyes like lit up and was just staring at her and I was like dang so right now he's chill he's playing with his toy and I want to stop at a loves because loves usually have dog parks. I don't know if all of them do, but if you guys have followed me since my road trip to California, I'm a loves girl through and through. Even like my road trips to the lake, like I love a loves, which is <laughs> so ridiculous. But they usually have like decent bathrooms and for dogs, they got a good bit of grass space. I've never actually used one of the dog parks, but now that I've got both dogs and him, I'm like, we are probably gonna be utilizing loves on this trip. So 
My hope is that I can find one within like the next 30 minutes, but we'll see how long he stays focused on his toy and entertained. I also do have toys literally right here that I can grab and like pass back to him, but I was really hoping we would get a longer first nap. And as I was driving, listening to Beyonce, obviously, I had to give myself a little bit of a pep talk because I am such a planner. Like, even thinking about this trip last night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh my gosh, I should really plan out all of my stops and like what we're gonna do. But that's just not how this is going to work. Like, I need to very much so be a vibes-based person today and just go with his vibes. Like, what does he need? Should we stop? Is it time for a bottle? Like, whatever, and just like, really go with the flow. There is negative pressure to get there today because that would be absolutely insane. And quite frankly, I don't want him in his car seat that long, <sighs> but we'll see. I should say this was never actually the original plan. Not that anything has gone to plan with this whole entire move, but specifically this part, my man originally pitched the idea. He didn't even pitch the idea. He was like, this is what's happening. I am going to fly to Alabama. I'm going to take the car and the dogs and you and little man can fly to the location so that we weren't doing this big of a drive but then when it came down to it we were just like talking about the options and we were like okay that's one option another option is like my man could just fly to Alabama and then all of us could do this road trip together and I was like why 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 quite frankly like I understand especially having a little one in the car this long like it's not an ideal scenario but in reality if him and I were to fly it was gonna be two flights anyways it would have been a pretty long travel day and it would have cost a good bit of money to book flights for him to come here and then us to go there and it just like I don't know it seemed a little bit unnecessary to me so I was like you know what let me do this for the content <laughs> which is so ridiculous but at the same time like it just made more sense for me to do this so that's why we're doing this road trip on our own. Um, yeah, it's it's long though. I pulled it up on the GPS today and it said 11 hours and 38 minutes. So, we got this. We got this. I just need to find a gas station and this person is going well below the speed limit. Sir, what is happening? Something I did not think about was having my water warmer close to me so that I could get this started when we were on the drive. Oh, there's a lot of other puppies here. Okay, good, I do have water in here. So, I'm gonna get this going. One thing I love about this vehicle, you guys, is that you can start the car, like, from outside, but you can also, like, once you turn the car off, you can hit rest, and it will keep the air running for, I believe it's 10 minutes. So, we're gonna run in and use the restroom, do a diaper change and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna let the dogs run around and they actually have benches there. So I'll just feed him out there. This is gonna be perfect. We've got this, right? We got this. Okay, I'm also gonna crack the windows just a little bit, even though the air is going. Just out of my like delusional mind that like in case the car shuts up, I don't know, you guys. And we're not gonna be gone that long, let's be honest. They had no signs, so I told you guys we were going off of vibes. We are really going off of vibes. We made it 22 miles down the highway and this kid started crying and I honestly just think he didn't drink enough when we were at the dog park because he was so distracted. So I'm gonna see if he wants to drink anymore. If not, there's a McDonald's right here and I figured we'll just go inside the McDonald's. There's also a gas station, which there's everyone freaking parked here. This is wild. You're doing good, lovey. Keep drinking, please. You're getting tired. It's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is so dang windy today. Let's hope that does the trick. He looks really, really sleepy. We're gonna try. See how long this lasts. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. 
you too. I would have had someone filming us trying to get into this dog park. That was something, quite frankly. It was something, but I wanted to bring all of the dog's stuff to feed them and give them water. Hey, girl. Happy. Well, we are at a hotel for the night. I originally had plans to stop in one city and then he fell asleep and I was like oh this is about like night time for you let's see how long you sleep and I thought that I could actually go farther but it's 9 30 and realistically it was just like so much smarter for me to stop so this is pretty ridiculous but I've been thinking about this all day I was like how am I going to do a hotel with these two dogs who love to cuddle in bed with me and this little cutie who has to sleep in bed with me like I can't have these two in the same bed so I was like why don't I get two queens this is the ridiculousness but I put their blanket over here like this is the blanket they sleep with every night so I'm hoping that they stay to this bed Fancy's currently just like sniffing and pacing right now because she's got no idea what's going on. Cutie little boy is happy, which I am very happy about. I'm just not realizing. Yeah, I left that running. But he's going to get his final bottle and we're all going to go to bed. I think I need to turn this air down even more because it is hot in here. But we did it. Day one. We honestly got so freaking far. I'm really proud of us. But I am tired. And so is this cutie boy. I see it in his eyes even though he's like a jumping bean right now. So silly. I don't know what it is about today. I think it's because he didn't get enough sleep last night. Like we didn't fall asleep until 11 and then he was up on, well, we were up by like five something. And I don't remember exactly the time, but anyway, we got on the road. He immediately fell asleep. He napped for an hour and a half. We had one stop. And then he just napped for another almost two hours. It was an hour 50 minutes. Like where were these naps yesterday? You know, he didn't do bad yesterday by any means. Like he crushed it yesterday. But today I'm like, what is happening? This is amazing. So as soon as I saw his eyes open, I found a gas station and I was like, sweet, we're getting off the next exit. So we're actually at a Bucky's. I've never been to a Bucky's before and I've got the windows cracked and the car is currently on rust right now. And we gotta go, huh? We're gonna change his diaper and then do a bottle, get some gas, cause I am almost out. And then we've got like 40 minutes left and we're there. It was honestly like the way he was napping, I was like, are we gonna make it the whole way there? But I'm glad he ended up waking up because we did really need gas. I could make it on the tank that I have right now, but you know, I'd rather, rather stop. Okay, let's do a diaper change. I really wanted to clean my windshield while I was filling up my tank and there's like no windshield things here. So I Googled it. I was like, oh, maybe they have like a specific station. They don't have any windshield cleaner things at Bucky's. You guys provide everything else, but you don't have that. I have questions. Let me sanitize my hands and then we're going to try this world famous brisket by Bucky's. If you guys have ever seen the Bucky's billboards, they're hilarious, but I know I have seen something about their brisket before and I looked at all the ingredients and it says contains soy, milk, wheat, gluten, all that stuff. And I can see where the soy is and I'm willing to risk my life for that. I don't see where any dairy is and that's where I'm a little bit confused but I feel like for the content oh wait let me actually set up my phone too it looked so good the way they were slicing it right in front
holy shit, that's actually amazing. Why did I think it was gonna be like, meh? This is so good. For food on road trips, I think Bucky's is gonna be my new favorite spot. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Like, this is a gas station. The only thing is, I don't think Bucky's has dog parks because I see straight ahead like three different doggy stations so I think that is just like the grass area for pets if they had like a dog park situation that would be supreme specifically on this road trip it has been so nice to just like let the dogs run around while I feed him and like take a little break ourselves it's been really convenient for sure okay wait I'm on Reddit, which I never am ever on Reddit, but I figured for Bucky's it's worth it. Apparently there's a tire inflation station and there they have windshield cleaners. I don't know where that would be, but we're gonna try to find it. Ooh. 